Hi guys, it's Rick Shields, PJ Golf Professional, and this is the complete driver guide. We are now moving into backswing section of the, the guide. I've done an overview, talked about the importance between irons and drivers. We've just done a video on setup, which is the most amount of instruction in this whole series on setup, how it differs between irons and driver. And now we're going to talk about the backswing, how we create power, how we keep the body turning so that we make sure that we hit up on the golf ball and how we can really create that penetrating long distance flight. That's what we're looking for with the backswing now. So if you want to see any of those videos, by the way, overview and setup, link up here in the corner will get you access to those videos. And I would advise you massively to watch those first if you, this is the first actual golf swing guide video you've watched. So. Once we now have the setup established and we've got that set up with a little bit more body tilt behind the golf ball and we've got that distance away and we've got that really good shaft angle, which is all very key and, and important aspect to this, is now we've got to make sure as we rotate into the backswing, we're not jeopardizing all of that good work we've done so far. If I draw a line from the golf ball, it goes past my left ear. So it's going straight up past my left ear. In the driver, we want to look at staying behind that line as we rotate to the top of our backswing. Now this is an important aspect. There is also a limit. We don't want to go too far over this way because that's going to have a detrimental effect and we're going to end up hitting the ground too far behind the golf ball. So as I've got this line by the side of my head, I'm looking at rotating my upper body and my hip rotation to make sure that I stay behind that golf ball. If I show you the opposite effect of that, it looks a little bit more like this. And I'm starting to tilt my body more to the left or towards the target. So what I'm looking for here is rotating my upper body, my shoulders and my hip rotation and allowing that golf club from this angle here to start moving straight back and then around the body. As I get to the top of my swing, you can see here, I'm slightly behind the golf ball. I've completely rotated my torso and my shoulders to create that power. The golf club went straight back early doors and then rotated to the top of the backswing. Now with driver, this is also a very important aspect, is we don't actually have to create a great deal of wrist hinge with driver. We're looking for a little bit more of a wider takeaway with the arm and the golf club. So we're looking for a little bit more of a wider takeaway. And as we get to about halfway in the golf swing in that takeaway position, then it's a case of moving that golf club more around the body to get that real coiling effect. And you can see here, as I do that, that golf club works much more through the body as opposed to going straight upwards, likely also straight underneath. So we wanna go super straight going back towards where you're watching now. I've got my arm and the golf club in full stretch mode and then I'm rotating to the top of the backswing while staying behind the golf ball, that's going to create the power that I'm looking for when I get that shot. That's creating the power. We need, still need to establish how we actually deliver the power, which is coming in the next video. But that's what's going to help create the power. I think it's also a useful note. I'll just put another T in here. As I rotate that weight, as I rotate into the backswing, I'm slightly starting to move my weight into the right foot. So at address, I'm relatively 50-50 in my setup, even though I'm tilted. I still feel like I'm 50-50 here in my feet position. As I start to rotate back, it's advised to start pushing weight into the right heel. So as I start to rotate round, I'm pushing more weight into that right heel and I'm moving my upper body behind the golf ball and again that's going to help me create plenty of power as I hit the golf shot.
So backswing, super important aspect to it. It still keeps us encouraging by hitting up into the driver. That's what it's all geared around, being able to get that driver hitting up through the golf ball while creating power. Rotation is key, getting the club, golf club moving around the body while still keeping the stretch early in the golf swing. And as we start to rotate that weight into the right heel by about 60, 65% is the feeling. It might be actually a little bit more in reality, but I don't want you to overstretch that reality. Guys, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. Comment below, do you struggle with this rotational element with driver or does it actually feel like you create more power? Let us know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel by hitting the red button. It keeps you connected to all of the content that I deliver on my YouTube channel. And we'll stay tuned to part three now, which is going to be impact into the shot. Part four, in fact. Impact into the shot. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you all soon.